everyone, so I was doing my hair so that it would look a bit nicer for filming my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial and then I realised that I could just film another video for you, do, showing you doing my hair and I've actually, on the spur of the moment, made three looks out of this so it's just kind of gradually building up the first one is just some nice loose romantic curls and then you can add to that with these little braids and then finally you could add a kind of ponytail so it's more elegant, I don't know um, so that's just kind of a spur of the moment video um, so hopefully you could wear this on Valentine's Day if you're going out on a date or if you're like me and you're just going out with friends or even if you're just at home and you want to try something different with your hair so hopefully you'll find this helpful remember you can add comments, questions and requests and keep an eye out for the Valentine's Day makeup look that's going to go with this I'm not sure which order I'm going to post them in but I'm sure you'll find them so first of all I sprayed my hair with heat protectant and then I split it um, like I was doing a half up, half down, that just behind my ear. And I've done this half of my hair. I'm just going to be doing this one. And I like to work from the back to the front, and then I don't miss out any sections. So just grab your section of hair, probably about an inch, inch and a half. Pop your straighteners in at the top, and then I twist mine a full 360 degrees, and then just pull down quite slowly. And then you're left with this nice curl here. And then I just pop it to the back. So take your section, pop your straighteners in the top, flip them all the way around. And then just slowly take them down to the bottom. And then you can just kind of twist your curl a bit to get the shape you want. Pop it to the back. Straight is at the top, twist around 360 and just let them glide to the bottom. Obviously the faster you go, the more relaxed curl you're going to get and the slower the tighter the curl you're going to get. So that's the bottom layer. So then what I do is I take all my hair onto one side and then unclip and I'm going to take down half of my hair so it's the side here and then this will still stay up and this just means that I'm going to get all the hair curled get to the front section of your hair what you might want to do is to just put it in this way round and then curl back this way instead so it's still the same motion but you're holding the straighteners vertical rather than horizontally and this just means that your curl is going to come away from your face so it's not you know, sticking in your face your whole evening I'm going to take the hair to the other side and let down the final section. Okay, so you could leave your curls just like this, but what I like to do is use a little bit of, what's this, Mark Hill Defrizz Texturizing Polish, any kind of, um, any kind of polish type gel stuff will work. And you only need a tiny bit of this on your fingers, and I just rub it between my fingers, and then I just start here and kind of run my fingers through it to kind of break up the curls a bit so they're more natural looking so you could just spritz this with hairspray and you'd been done but I'm just going to add a little extra to this because you might be wearing this out as your date on Valentine's Day Okay, so to make this just a little bit more fancy for your Valentine's Day date, we're just going to take the front section of our hair, split it into two, and all we're going to do is just twist them over each other like this, and start to pull it round your head. and then fasten it in the back and then we're going to do exactly the same on this side just take your front section and start twisting 
So that's that second look there, and then the final look, which is slightly more, slightly more fancy, slightly fancier, is we're just going to scoop some pieces from each side. And just start pinching them in the back here. And then we're just going to secure it with the band. And then this is the finished third look and I just pulled the ponytail slightly to the side and if you wanted you could put like a flower in here that maybe matches your outfit or something like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, whether you're going out on Valentine's Day or you could use this for another occasion, I'm actually going to a party on Valentine's Day because I don't have a date, but I'm still going to have a good time anyway. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and there's going to be a matching Valentine's Day makeup look as well which I'm going to film now. So I'm not sure which order I'm going to upload these in but um, all the links will be in the bottom bar or I'm sure you can find them. So hope you're having a good day and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.